So it's Christmas Eve. The Shed Yeos and Alpaca are having a meal. There's a misly rain occurring. I'm about to head up the Orchard Laneway to check on the Yeos and their bale of hay. They're not getting their meal. But I want to check on their hay. <laughs> Waiting for me. I need two hands to open to lock this gate. <laughs> Walking up the orchard laneway. But look, I'm wearing a t-shirt. Remind me, is this December 24th, Christmas Eve? It's that warm. You can see my flabby arms. It is that warm. Hey girls, how are you guys? Yeah, what, what? You stomping your feet at the dogs like a cross person. They're all doing fine. Loads of hay. Well, there's not much hay still in there. They've eaten most of what I gave them. Somebody was asking about wool and why some sheep were missing some wool. This is from right here. You can see it's even a more different color. This is because she got fly strike during the year. So that's where the fly strike was, that really dark wool. This is where I shore it off. And so that's the next level. And then this is her full growth. So where you see a sheep with a bit of shorn fleece, that's where there was a bit of fly strike that I shore off. Like you can see her bottom end. So, and then she had a bit of fly strike across her back. So you can see she's shorn on her back. How are you? You good girl. Yes. So this yo here on the right, she had fly strike as well. So she's got a funny body shape because she's uh, been struck by fly strike. Now I'm going to come over here and check their bale of hay. Uh, and I think I'll need to replace it uh, in the next day or so. They're all following me. Checking out what I'm checking out. Yeah, girls. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna add to your hay bale. I'm just checking on it. Dogs all smelling the badgers and the foxes. Yeah, your hay is fine, actually. Probably for another two days. I know. You just thought I was going to give you something more. And I wasn't. Checking your hay. So checking their hay in a short sleeve shirt on Christmas Eve. I think this is probably going to be the warmest Christmas. And there's a wind blowing, by the way. 
there is a wind blowing and I'm not chilled. Yes, I've not been well, but it is not that cold at all, honestly. And there's a wind blowing. I don't know if you can see. Those branches are moving. So, anyway. <laughs> and Java's in the hay. Java, you've got to behave and not do anything bad in the hay, okay? Anyway, happy Christmas Eve, everybody, on one of the warmest, mildest Christmas Eves I've ever experienced, and let's just wait and see if we have a record for the warmest Christmas Eve since they've recorded temperatures. Not ever, we don't know that. These two are lovely and warm on the hay. <laughs> this is too funny. Anyway, there's plenty of hay for the next few days. Isn't that right, Java? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see if they follow me back. There's a little bit. You can see with little bits, a little bit of white on her tail. How are you, ear feather? Yeah. How are you? They might follow me back, thinking I'm going to give them some food. They have plenty of food. They're well fed. They're just greedy. Me and my train of sheep. All coming down thinking I'm gonna be feeding them <laughs> extra food uh, you're a right crew of piglets maybe you're not sheep at all maybe you're just piglets piggy wiggy sheep <laughs> anyway I'll come up later and feed you. I just wanted to check your hay. Java, leave it. Good boy. Everybody's really beginning to think I'm going to be feeding them. Not a chance, ladies. They're going to be fed later. I just wanted to have a good check of your hay and what your hay was like. Come on, Brindle, out you come. Nope. Okay, ladies. Sorry, Kestrel. No extra food. You're getting fed later. This container is full of potting soil that all the goodness has come out of it. And it's a huge container, this big thing. It's been here since my grandfather's time. This is what he would put his potting soil in. But I use my old potting soil um, to plant young trees in because they don't want the really, really rich stuff. Here you can see there's a few, um, there's a few eggshells in this. So there's some extra calcium in this. 
I can't remember what was growing in that, but anyway, it was something to keep the snails out of was crushed um, eggshells. So what I'm doing is I'm going to be filling up all these pots and then I'm going to be planting some of the Gilda Rose trees that I got yesterday and I will be giving these as gifts to friends. Most of them I'm going to plant here, but there's a few people who I want to give um, trees as, well, Gilda Rose is more of a shrub than a tree, but I want to give them some Christmas presents. So what I do is fill a bucket up with the potting soil and I'm very lazy about it and I just pour it in and what falls out I then um, put, uh, see there's just chunks of it from old potting from, uh, these are, oh, these are from cucumbers, from tomatoes, all kinds of things. So this is, uh, break this up a little bit. It's really solid. Anyway, this is what I'm doing Christmas Eve. Let's see if I do some more of these here. There, most of that. And then a few, this one's kind of empty. Anyway, there. Now I'm gonna go and get um, some of the Gilda Rose plants and pot them. You'll see how easy and simple it is. They came in this big plastic bag to protect them and their roots, but you can see they're bare rooted, but they have a bit of potting soil, so they can last a little while. Now, you helping me, Java. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, yes, I know. So these are eight that I'm gonna pot up and give to a friend over Christmas of the Gilda Rose. She doesn't want Rowans or Spindle, but I didn't tell her I had Gilda Rose, so this is kind of a little surprise. Hey, kitty. So here we go. And all we do is dig a little hole down to the bottom and then place, then I'll put more potting soil on top but it's literally, you can transfer over like that and dig another hole, put it in. And this way, my friend, I know where I wanna plant all my guild rose, but this way she can take her time deciding where she wants to plant them. Okay, I'm gonna pop the rest of those up and then give them a good soaking water. How are you? You beautiful kitty. You're rushing off. Here's a, an old bathtub of ours that I use for collecting water. And I'm gonna give them rain water. I don't wanna give them tap water. So, Good soak. Okay, and they will stay there. These are a varieties of hellebores. This is a very sheltered, shady area. Anyway, those are now planted up and ready to be given as a Christmas present. Eight Gilda roses. Yay!
You want so badly to chase the doves, don't you? You really want to. Yep. That's your game, isn't it? Luckily, it's not your game. Or there wouldn't be any doves. <laughs> yes! That's one of the new northern ewes, came from Northern Ireland. So is she. Oh. 
Okay, ladies, the sun is soon gonna set. See you tomorrow. You can see the lights going behind the clouds.